Even in an age of conveniences, some choose the old ways. That was the case for one man that PM Magazine met back in 1981. He brought an old trade back to Newman in Douglas County, inspiring a new sense of community pride. Here's Suzanne Kay. There are people in this country who claim Americans just don't take pride in their work anymore. But John Smith proves them wrong. He's an unusual craftsman with a talent given to only a select few, blacksmithing. In fact, John is so enthusiastic about what he does and takes smithing so seriously, he even makes his own tools. There's a certain love that I have when I grab a punch that I've made and swing down on it with a good hard blow on hot metal and drive the hole through. And I have an appreciation for those handmade items. I feel that there's a heritage there that I, I want to share in. John is a great believer in achieving personal satisfaction for a job well done. In fact, it's taken him more than a year to restore the building that houses his shop. The Tucker Building is the home of John's business, the Brushy Fork Trading Company. It was originally built by a German immigrant, also a blacksmith, and signs of the building's colorful past remain. John decided to become a blacksmith, partially in keeping with the building's tradition, but there are several other reasons. As a child, it's, it's easy to stay in touch with your imagination and your, your uh, feelings and uh, uh, to mold the world, to be in control of your world uh, if, with your fantasy. But as an adult, it's not so easy. But John found it wasn't as hard as he thought it would be, especially with the help and moral support of his friends and neighbors in Newman. There's a lot of people who uh, come in and for one reason or another say, well, I've worked a lifetime to get away from what you're doing. And my answer to them is there's all the difference in the world between choosing a life of simplicity and being stuck with the old ways. I have more than King Tut could have hoped for. The tradition continues in a new generation of artists that also work right there in the Tucker Building, and that building has since been added to the National Register of Historic Places.